It is Manchester United 2, Everton nil. Weathers original nil. The Toffees nil. Manchester United collecting three points for today. But what I have to say, you think I'm happy with that performance? Or you think I'm happy with that? Even though we collected three points, please with the result. But the performance, once again, Manchester United giving sticky toffee performances, icky toffee performances. Oh my God. Manchester United, you know what? If it wasn't for those two penalties, Manchester United would have lost this game or drawn. Because Everton tested a goalkeeper so many times. 23 shots on target for the Tuffies, Weathers Originals, aka Everton themselves. Against Manchester United, out of traffic, big bad Manchester United just conceding 23 shots like it was nothing. I am so worried for this team. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, for those who are watching, I'm so worried for this team because there's no improvement. It was another game where Manchester United did not perform but got three points. And again, when would this end? Robbie, when would this end? Big up to DT as well for that for that wording. But yes, when will this and when would this poor performance from Manchester United end? How many times we need to see this, you know? And especially when we're going to see players, scrubbish players like Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford, who happened to score our goals today. Our, our best players who, could, who cannot perform in the game as well. And again, you have to tell, I have to tell you, it's another game where they didn't perform. Forget the goals. They didn't perform and so did other players. They did not perform. It's tiring to be a Manchester United fan and, and go through this experience. We got to Dalo who played well as well. Um, you know, and Evans. Let's look at the match of the first 45 minutes because Manchester United had a poor 45 minutes. Everton tested Andre Onana so many times and we was lucky as well in not to concede goals. Andre Onana showed himself in the first 45 minutes making some good saves, being there for Manchester United. Otherwise, it will be 1-0 curtains as well for Manchester United. The first goal coming in with a penalty rewarded to Manchester United. Alejandro Ganacho himself taking on, of course, um, Tovkovsky, and Tovkovsky fouling him and making it a penalty for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes stepping up, as always, when it comes to penalties and converting that chance into a goal. And, of course, he ran to the fans, did what he had to do to put Manchester United 1-0 up. And then the second penalty came. Alejandro Kodosha causing havoc against Everton. And then who guess who fell for it this time? It was Ben Godfrey who fell for it. But God did not free you, Ben Godfrey. Not at all. At all. With that tackle on Ganacho. Bruno said, you know what, Rashi? You're low on confidence. We are both low on confidence. You know, I'm going to give you the ball. Bruno Fernandes gives the ball to Marcus Rashford from Rashford to convert that ball that penalty into the back of the net to make it 2-0 for Manchester United. Dalo had to go to Rashford and say, no, what? It's in the head. It's not in the head. Bun Rashford. Marcus Trashford, Crashford, Rashford, Rashford, the coup again. Scoring it, making it 2-0. Half time for Manchester United. 2-0. We're thinking, oh, yes. Do something in the second. Make it 4-0. Although we've been playing rubbish, do not concede goals. Do not do anything that will make us lose this game. Because I thought to myself, if we didn't get those penalties, we would have we lost it. Second half, Manchester United were horrible in the second half. Created absolutely nothing. It was Everton again causing the problems, take, getting at Andre and Anna, getting at the defence as well. But we maintained, we kept that clean sheet. And Anna must be happy keeping a clean sheet. Gonacho had opportunities as well to make it 3 0, 4 0. Uh, Manchester United, they do, they do have some opportunities, but we just didn't convert our chances and opportunities. And it's another game where we have to say full time. 2-0, but it's another game where Manchester United did not perform well or do anything. And I, I, I'm just worried about this team. We've got Liverpool next week and we can't, we can't be playing like this. We cannot play like this. Rasmus Holland, we need you back ASAP. But those who are watching right now, let me know who your man of the match is. Because my man of the match today, before we, actually before we even get into manager match, player-wise, I look at Rashford and Bruno Fernandes. Although they got their penalties, they played rubbish. Throughout, yes, Pe and Bruno fed some balls into Ganacho to free him up to get opportunities. But still, he was rubbish throughout the whole game. The, the giving the ball away is just too constant for me. I just can't take this, guys. Alejandro Ganacho, yes, man of the match performance. Yes, got the penalties. But he had his opportunities to, to score, to cut in, to, to bring in players to get a tap in. But he didn't. Casemiro had a horrible game. 
especially in the first 20 minutes. I'm there thinking, bro, what was you do? Was you up late night watching Francis Ogarnu and, of course, Anthony Joshua fight? Because you played Turkish today. Onano had a good game. Onano was solid for us, you know. Evans, <laughs> hats up to Johnny Evans for his age. Always giving us a six or seven out of ten performance. Steady Eddie guy. Man the match day, Ali Hanjo Ganacho with a performance of with the penalties that he won. Big up to him. I know. I don't have anyone for the donkey of the match, but guy today I have to say to the Manchester United Holics. Yeah, we was lucky. We was absolutely lucky for today's game. We cannot p continue playing like this. Especially next season. We need to get proper midfielders. We need to get proper defenders and proper attackers who are creative and make the right decisions because this can't continue. I cannot take this anymore. If we was poor in general. We was lucky to win this game against the Toffee. We were lucky that we didn't catch diabetes. We were prevented from diabetes. But it is what it is, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Let me know who your man in the match is and your donkey of the match in the comments as well. This has been your match reaction from your boy, Alvaro and Spice. We're back Monday, 8 p.m. to discuss and the catch up with the mandem. It is what it is, man. Guys, till next time, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace and sayonara.